one of the most interesting realms, literatures, where people have been thinking about prenatal testosterone exposure is work of a guy in the UK at Oxford named Simon Baron Cohen. And what he is, is basically the world's expert on autism. And he has developed what is called the hyper male hypothesis of autism. For starters, there's a very, very big gender skew in autism, far more frequent among boys than girls, among males than females. And what Baron Cohn has done a lot of work on over the years is first looking at a whole array of sex differences between normal human males and females, sex differences, some of it's the finger ratio stuff, some of it is neuroanatomy, some of those structural differences in the brain having to do with that. Some of it is functional spatial skills versus language skills. Some of it is problem solving and there is sort of a gender difference that tends to come through with that on the average, blah, blah, in that boys, males, men, take more analytical approaches to social problem solving. Girls, women, females take more empathic ones. So that's a difference. Okay, so he studied all sorts of stuff like that, and obviously with hormones as well. All sorts of really subtle, interesting physical differences, whole array of these. And what he has shown is that individuals with autism, regardless of their sex, tend to have even more exaggerated versions of those male typical profiles. The finger length, the analytical focus at the cost of social empathy, social affiliation, the very very strong spatial skills, whole bunch of those. So he's made a fairly convincing argument, I think, that is good something's going on in terms of prenatal androgenization, perhaps, which produces a more masculinized profile, which taken to its extreme, winds up being autism. In other words, normal male behavior is just skating on thin ice before going into this whole realm of sort of dysfunctional socialization. Lots of stuff with that, as we'll see next week, some very interesting differences in the wiring of the cortex of people with autism, and males show that same thing, just not as extreme. Okay, interesting footnote thing. Uh, Simon Baron Cohen is apparently the cousin of Sasha Baron Cohen of Borat, which suggests that, that must be one interesting family when they get together for the holidays. <laughs>